Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In a matter of minutes, I'll show you how to cut music in GarageBand. Okay, so here we are in GarageBand with a fantastic track. It's a Music Radio Creative jingle. Let's have a little listen to it. Fantastic piece of music, but I want to cut it, I want to chop it, I want to do all kinds of things with it, so I'm going to show you a few tips to get started with that. First of all, we want to make sure that the music track is lined up correctly and the BPM is correct, because that will help us to chop and edit the jingle. Double click on your track there that you want to edit, and what we can do here is go down to, I know this is the first beat of the first bar around there, and I'm going to line that up with the first beat of the second bar so that I have a work frame. Use this slider over here to zoom right in. In, and you'll see the waveform gets a little more detailed there. Drag it over until it lines up with the first beat of bar two. Let's zoom in even further so we can be super precise and line that beat up. Perfect. That's lined up perfectly with bar two. Let's just check I'm at the right BPM by going to bar three and then zooming into that and seeing how that looks. Let's scroll over a little bit there. Yep, perfect. Bar three, the beat is lining up. It all looks good. Now, if we were in the wrong BPM, I happen to know that this bit of music is 126 BPM. You just double click up there and you can type in the BPM of a song. That is essential if you're chopping and cutting music in GarageBand to know the BPM of the track you're working with. Also, you can change the key, the signature, whatever you like up there. So now, say I, I can play the first four bars. That's <laughs> Okay, that sounds good to me. And say I want to chop just the uh, the last two bars and loop them over a couple of times. Very simple to do that. Select there, and it will automatically snap, by the way, uh, to the bars and beats. So no need to zoom in and be precise here. I know, and I can see here, that that is right bang on at the start of the third bar there. Now, once you've selected that track, see that it's highlighted, hit Command and T. Command and T makes a little cut in your music. Now I'm going to go to the end of those two bars there and hit Command and T. And then I'm going to take this, click and drag it away somewhere else. And then I'm going to set, select just those two bars, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, Command V to paste, Command V to paste. Now I have just extended uh, by another, whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six bars. Let's drag that up and let's listen to how those edits sound. Edit one. Oh, and uh, I did need to remember to actually drag this out to actually play the audio, otherwise I'm just going to get a loop of the first four bars. That's important to remember. So here we go. Let's go to let's go to around here and listen to those edits. <laughs> Now you can hear those edits are a little bit rough because there's a little bit of clashing symbol there that comes in. But if you did this, for instance, uh, on a fine grain scale, for instance, I might want to drag this in like that. I can I can drag and change the cut of my music to be like this, to be something more appropriate. Let's see how that edit sounds right there. And we'll need to again select the portion we want to hear. So you can do all kinds of cuts and chops in that fashion. Just remember Command T when you've selected where you want to make your chop. Let's make another chop here. At the start of bar 12, Command T is going to make that chop there. And then drag and move, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. That is basic cutting of music in GarageBand. And if you want to let me know how you're getting on, remember to leave a comment to this video. There'll be more tutorials on GarageBand coming up very soon.